Hi everyone. So we're going to start making, looking at making a waterfall card from an A5 card. And waterfall card, this will be the simplest one I think that you've ever made. And it just flows. There we go. Each mechanism needs to be used a few times to make it flow. Okay, so this will be the easiest one I think you've done and I'll show you some more samples at the end. So I have given you here the measurements to make an A5 card and you can either choose to make it in centimetres or I've found that I've been asked um, from people all over the world, can I put the measurements in inches? So you've got now got a choice, but whichever one you decide, you need to stick to that column. So you'll be able to stop the video, put down all your measurements, and I can keep bringing this back in each time we do a different stage of the card. So let's have a look first. So we're going to do this first bit here, which is preparing the background. So we want a piece of background paper, which is 14 by 20, and a contrast mat, which is 14.5 by 20.5. Okay, and when that's mounted up, it will give you just a small border all the way around. So let's go ahead and do that and we'll mount it onto the card. So normally I only put a couple of strips down, but this one, because it's going to have a mechanism on it, I'm going to give a little bit extra um, support. So I'm going to put double sided all the way round, but I'm also going to come down the middle here because that is where the mechanism for the waterfall card is going to be. So I'm going to just ease these back. I'm going to have to take the middle piece off because I can't get to that later, but there we go. Come on. Shouldn't have cut my nails this morning. Right, so. Now, I'm going to place this, all of the pieces on the waterfall card will have the same um, spacing around. So you can be sure that you're going to get the same look right through the card. So let's get into that one and just finished doing that. Right, so there is our background with the mat and we're going to put that onto the card and balance that up. Once again, I'm going to put the extra strip down Okay, so there we have the front mounted onto the card. Okay, so we'll bring back our piece here. 
and we need to make a cross a cross strip 14 by 2.5 and that's in patterned paper and a contrast mat 14 and a half by 3. Now notice that the contrast mat here matches this measurement. So let's have a look what we're doing. We're doing this strip here and it matches exactly down the side. So I've got my background paper here and I've got my mat here. Now, this isn't going to take too much the strength of the card, so just doing a single single strip and this is going to be mounted on the card but we're only sticking the outside pieces. Okay. Now you can stick sort of two and a half centimeters or an inch in. I happen to know that my um, tape here is a centimeter so there you go I've done two centimeters in either side. So there I've got it prepared. I'm going to put it that way up for the moment because I want to measure two inches or five centimetres up from the bottom and then place my strip across there. You can, it's not essential but it needs to be about that um, up from the bottom so five centimetres or two inches. So we've now got the background and the cross strip. Now we need to look at the mecha mechanism strip and I'm going to leave this in position because what we're going to do is we're going to cut an A4 length by five centimetres and let's get the centimetre side. that there and what I've done is I've rounded off one end so that end I need to put to the right hand side and we're going to work on this left hand piece and we're going to score 5, 7, 9, 11 and 13. Okay. So we're going 5 7, 9, 11, 13 and you'll see here I haven't printed this tiny bit here so I want that towards the back so I'm going to fold forward on all of these lines There we go. This is going to be covered up, so don't worry about that. And make sure they are all level. Now. Right, so we've done 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. And so we're going to take this piece here and the shorter pieces on the top, longer piece on the bottom, and we're going to take this longer piece and push it down behind there. Now, this piece here is going to fit onto that cross piece. So I measure, I think it's roughly um, five centimetres into there and five centimetres to there. Just give me a rough guide. So I can place my uh, double-sided adhesive within that area. Okay. And 
and I'm going to fold this down and I'm bringing this in that area between my marks and I'm just going to make sure it's going straight. Now this actually I've got lines on the card so it does help. Okay. So the mechanism will work like that. Now let's go back to our instructions. The toppers we're going to make five and they're going to be five centimetres square, two inches, and the contrast is 5.5 square. So very simple measurements. Now I've got my designs sorted here. So at the moment I don't need to decide what order they're going in. But this one will be the first one that is mounted there um, because it will be a surprise element with the happy birthday message. So I'm going to do these with a wet glue because then I've got a little bit of wiggle room. place them there drying and so it doesn't doesn't matter at the moment which order we're doing them in two And while I'm doing this, I'm thinking ahead of myself as to, that was the wrong thing to do. I had a spare one, I think, so. It's the next one. And one, two, three, four, five, that's it. Right, so my first one is going to go on here. It's going to go level with the bottom of that piece there, but I only want to stick here. Sorry, it's... Um, these I've made slightly bigger. This one's going to hang down a little way. So the thing you need to remember is not to compromise. That's it. Not to compromise this first line. So I want to place that onto there just below that crease. Straighten that up a little bit better. Now I'm going to have that one as my top one, that one part way down, then that one, now this one. So go right at the top, just one piece. And it's going to go to the second line and just underneath that score line. So make sure that these are straight as well. Then the next one. This is the easiest waterfall card that I've ever done. So 
the next one we place under the score line and make sure it's lining up with the edges and that one's onto there and our last one which is our main picture I can see I've gone slightly too far with the tape so I'm going to just turn that back a fraction there's our other one don't go right to the top because you've still got um, a crease there that you need to avoid. So you're going to have this tiny bit that sticks out the top but then we can see that our mechanism will pull and you've got your happy birthday right at the end as your surprise element. Okay so there's that one. Now we're going to have a look at a slightly different one my lid on my glue because as well as coming straight down we can also make it go across so I have gone ahead and prepared the rest of this to make it quicker it's exactly the same measurements but this time the fold of the card needs to be at the top and we're going to place on our mat and background so here this one I've gone for a cream card and if you're going to do something with writing on because we're going across with this, this needs to go up and down. So once again, we need to do just a small bit on the ends. And I've done a two centimeter strip. I measure in five centimeters and then I can place isn't critical but you do need room for your pull to come through now this one here I've done my strip it goes behind there and I need to fix this onto this strip here so I'm going to measure in from the outside of the card Five centimeters. I'm going to measure in five centimeters that one, and I know then I can put my tape between those marks. Okay, this strip will cover it. So I'm going to take that now, line it up with the bottom. And when I'm happy with it, place it down. Okay. Now, the mechanism is going that way. So I've got extra room top and bottom, which means I can do my pictures as rectangles. So I think I'm going to do wishing well to start with um, and then I've got two that are lighter now I'm keeping this one here because it's got a nice open area and I can put a greeting onto there so that will be my first one so 
I do. Right, so keeping clear of this score line, I place my first one on. Then my next one. Now, when I place this one on, I want it inside the score line, but I also want to make sure it's lined up top and bottom. There we go. Then the next one. Place it roughly on inside the score line, check it's lined up, and then press down. This one, place it loosely on inside the score line and press down. Next one goes on, keep slightly away from that crease. There's my wishing well. And when I pull that, the waterfall goes. Right, so you can add a brad and um, ribbon as a pull. You can leave it as it is. Let's go back to this one. Um, again, I haven't put anything on the pull. This one here I've put a brad and some ribbon and I've also punched this bottom edge. <coughs> this one, I was going to trim that one, it's just waiting for the glue to dry. Right, so this one I've punched an edge and I've put a tiny bit of the backing um, under it so that it's pulling in the um, colour. And you can see the little daisies that came out. I've put one each side. And when we get down to this bit, on the best wishes, we've got a little daisy there as well. This one I made as a prototype and it's slightly smaller and it only has four um, pictures on it. But you can see how you can adapt the design. Okay. And lastly, let's have a look at this one. This one I've added a brad and some pink ribbon. And that one goes like that. Okay, so let's have a look at this one a minute because this was a meadow 8x8 paper pad. I've used this piece for the background and I also managed to get the extra strip out of it as well. But what I wanted to show you was another paper in here. This one. Because I had a two inch punch and I was able to put the two inch punch over various parts of this. So let's have a look. So we've got this one here. I put the punch over that. I found the little mouse. So that was a two inch one. Then I came to the flower and the leaves here. That was another one. Then I got a two inch punch over the bunny and also then I got the daffodil and the um, butterfly. So you don't have to go to a lot of expense from your toppers. Um, you can simply take a backing paper, even if it had different flowers on it or something like that, and make a lovely um, waterfall card. So please do have a go. I'd love to see what you do.
but it's a fun card and there's no um, difficult templates to draw out or anything. Um, it really is the simplest one that I've ever done. So have fun. That one's I've got a bit of glue on the back. Have fun, try it different ways. Right. But there is our challenge for this week. God bless. <laughs>